Now, it's the time to really start a very short uh, Q&A uh, with multi-stakeholder initiatives which welcome the Monitor for Circular Fashion in 2023, 2022, and are probably willing also to welcome the Monitor next year. So let me welcome now uh, in presence uh, Valeria Mangani, President, Sustainable Fashion Innovation Society, and we had the chance to meet uh, the last time in Rome, actually, uh, for your wonderful event. Um, can you tell us more what um, Sustainable Fashion Innovation Society is and uh, how you involve the Monitor for Circular Fashion Companies? Thank you, Francesca Romana. This is my pleasure to be here. It is very simple and easy. Sustainable Fashion Innovation Society is a center for the production of knowledge on issues related to sustainability. Uh, proposing itself as a privileged interlocutor uh, to the public administration, the government, institutions, dedicated finance and various players operating in the linked market. The society is nowadays the biggest European community for sustainable fashion with 2,000 brands and manufacturers subscribed. The mission of the society is to preserve the heritage of the Made in Italy, fostering it with sustainable innovation. We represent um, the sustainable fashion industry at the table for fashion, and at the Ministry for Enterprises and the Made in Italy. Uh, we focus on lobbying for sustainability, suggesting the government bills and parliamentary motions. Since 2019, the Society annually gives life to the Digital Sustainability Expo, where we had the pleasure to host Bocconi and the Monitor for Circular Fashion, of course. And the Expo is the first, first event in Italy exclusively dedicated to sustainability and innovation in fashion and design industry. The format was defined by Harper's Bazaar as one of the three most relevant, internationally speaking, where fashion meets technology, science, and innovation. You surely can't miss why we partner with the Monitor for Circular Fashion, of course. The Society is a digital platform all year long, engaging our community with several activities. Uh, during the Fidgetal Expo, we become physical. That's why the name Fidgetal. Uh, so we meet in this marketplace where brands meet producers, stakeholders, uh, buyers, and creative clusters, of course, technologists to, of course, international medias and to create sustainable development co for the country. Offering Italian fashion and design companies the tool to undertake the ecological transition aimed at reducing the carbon footprint within the SDGs parameter of the UN Agenda 2030. The community is governed by the digital democracy, where inclusion and since, I mean, our community chooses and votes uh, how they would like their perfect event to be done. They choose everything. So this is very new as a format and the program is scheduled for two days, unfolds through sign main sections <laughs> that make the Digital Sustainability Expo a unique event in the world of fashion. A highly cultural, uh, format, um, I must say, taking place in an archaeological location, the Roman Imperial Forum, where fashion gets back in the Triance market after 2,000 years in a circular perspective, I would say. And we definitely look forward <laughs> to 2023 to be there again. Yes. So thank you so much, you. Valeria, for joining us. So we are about to start, and I would say we officially start, from, starting from tomorrow, year three of the Monitor for Circular Fashion, full of experiences. And uh, let me say, I can't really wait to start year three of the Monitor for Circular Fashion. So let's move forward together and see you next year. Thank you so much.